YouTube man, it is your boy Mouse man. Before we get started, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and we are finally back with car audio man. So let's get right into it. Okay, so as you guys know man, we have Terra amps in my truck. Some people like the Terra amps, some people don't. I was one of those people who once never actually wanted to give the Terra amps a try or you know, even hear anything about them because I was a big kicker JL audio guy. Look at the JL audios right there. But listen, once I actually put my very first Terra amp inside of a vehicle, which was a single cab Chevy, uh, video is uh, in the history. That was it, man. I was, you know, blown away by the power that these guys handle and for the dollar amount, man. For the watt, for the buck, man, you can't go wrong. But, big but, you have to know how to adjust them and what you have to do with these guys, man. Because these guys are power hungry and the, the adjusting gains and everything, man... You have to know what you're doing to get the best sound out of these guys. I actually have uh, my Terra amps on an EQ, uh, the PRV EX 3.5 EQs. I haven't used DSPs yet, but I'm not going to talk nothing bad about them until I actually use them. But man, these EX uh, PRV EQs, man, these are definitely, you know, very, very good. I'm very, very happy with them. Makes my mids sound really good. Uh, but we'll make a video about these guys later on. But man, for now, let's concentrate on these guys. So for the Terra Amps, we have our level. We have our crossover, which is high pass and low pass. And then we have our frequency and boost. Uh, the bass boost, we don't need these because these are for um, bass stuff like that. And this amp is actually for mids and highs. And I'm going to show you what you need to do to adjust this guy. So you have good, you know, vocal coming out of it. Okay, so obviously, you know, if you are a car audio guy, man, you know what the crossover is for. High pass and low pass. And as you can see, I got mine somewhat set to almost 90 on the high pass. But it's kicked back a bit, you know what I'm saying? So we'll say it's like pretty much at like 85, 80. So it, high pass is like 85. But now if you see my low pass, it is actually um, kicked over as well too. Um, so it's probably sitting at like, mm, we'll say like 15k hertz, you know. Uh, but there's a reason why you have to use your low pass and your high pass. That high pass, you know, you can set the frequency so you can send a certain amount of, you know, voice to through it. And then that low pass, you can set it to, it could be like, you know, send a little bit of mid bass out. I'm a big mid bass type of guy. So I want that thing to, you know, kick when we're out here getting it, you know what I'm saying? This amp, you know, specifically was in my Trailblazer, but I never actually adjusted the low pass. I actually got into adjusting the low pass when I was actually putting this amp in this truck. And when I actually went to go ahead and adjust it, uh, man, it, it really changed how everything sounded, you know what I'm saying? Once I actually, you know, played with it a little bit, man, like, the, the voice really came to life. And, like, it was, like, mid-basing really awesome, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you have to mess with both of them in order for them to, you know, sound a little bit good. Here, I'm going to turn on the truck, put a little bit of music on, copyright free, of course. And I'm going to show you what it does. Okay, so we're going to use my front door panels to show you how this works. And we're just going to go ahead and use the uh, MD1800.1 as an example. I'm going to turn the gain all the way down. And then I am going to actually go ahead and turn down the crossovers all the way down. Just so you guys can see how it works. Okay, so I'm actually playing some music. So what's playing right now is the factory door speakers and the tweeters. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn up the gain just a bit. But since the frequencies are all the way down, it's actually playing a little bit of mid bass, like a strong pitch because, you know, the low pass is all the way down and the high pass is all the way down too. And we can't really hear nothing of it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and pump up the gain just a bit more. If I pump up the gain, like, the gain pumped up, like, we really hear a strong bass frequency coming out those guys. So now I'm going to actually go ahead and turn up the high pass a little bit. And it's, it eliminated a lot of the, of the mid bass coming out of that guy. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Right there, it, it's completely, like, it's still there, but very faint. So right now, I am actually turning up the low pass a little bit. You hear it? Did you just hear how I brought in that vocal? Did you hear it? 
Look, you hear that's that's the low pass down. So you see the. Now I brought it up. Okay, now we just kick down the the high pass a little bit. Right there. Did you see how different it sounded with the low pass and the high pass being adjusted? Now it really like. Do it again. Look at with the low pass out. That's low pass all the way down right there. Look, this is low pass getting turned up. Did you just hear how it brings on that voice? See, I like that mid bass sound right there. But you can take that away as you turn up the frequency on the high pass. But I like mid bass, so we're gonna turn it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay, so did you guys notice the difference in it, man? Like it, it you have to know how to adjust those Terra amps, you know, really well and sit the sit there with them for a little bit till you actually get the sound that you want. So once you actually adjust those things, uh, man, they really sound really, really good. And with the help of those PRV crossovers, it makes them sound even better, you know? The day before I actually went to go adjust my system, I actually was looking up videos on how to really adjust them. They just showed like the, uh, the amps on the dyno and, you know, quick things, but never, you know, explain to you what really goes on with those low pass and high press frequencies. And if you ever like look around, so many people are using those tear amps, but you know, there are probably people out there that really, you know, um, are car audio guys and know how everything works and really fiddle with them. But just like the average Joe's uh, very first time getting these tear amps don't know what to do. They're going to be lost. And that's what this video is for to help you out. I have a whole big system and have all these tear amps and only really mess with like uh, the high pass and the level. And never even touch that low pass and you're not even getting the full experience out of your sound system you know missing highs and like i just said uh man i actually had that 3000.1 in my trailblazer which we will be getting started on that here soon probably in a couple weeks um i had that amp in there and i just messed with the high pass and the level in that guy and you know fiddle with with my eq but i never actually got to really experience the actual voice and it could have been like 10 times louder man you know what i'm saying but it's when i really started adjusting the sound system in the white silverado that's when i you know started you know seeing like oh dang like this makes it sound pretty good you know what i'm saying and i have other friends that you know mess with the tear amps and they probably know how that works but i didn't you know what i'm saying i'm not even gonna lie to you but you know i fiddled around with it and i got it to learn and now i'm sharing you guys uh you know how it works it's gonna be it for today i uh, man it's a sunday man i'm gonna try to edit this video and drop it for you guys you know have something to watch to end sunday night tomorrow man we're gonna get more organized man we got the new ipad so we can drop longer videos uh man we got so much coming man we're gonna start off uh 2023 20, man with a serious bang man so i hope you guys been enjoying this whole year full of videos man we still got three weeks probably four weeks left of the year man we're gonna make the best of it and i hope you guys you know you enjoy the rest of the videos man but for now man we're gonna go inside we're gonna hang out drop this video and i'll catch you guys tomorrow man be ready for tomorrow because tomorrow we're gonna get back to work guys peace